Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today, we'll learn about 12 signs you've met a sociopath but just don't know it. Now, let's begin. If you met a sociopath in real life, would you know the difference? Most people think they know what a sociopath looks and sounds like. After all, we've seen sociopaths in movies and on TV hundreds of times. You may think you're savvy enough to uncover their lies and reveal their hidden agendas, but sociopaths aren't as obvious as people think. These deceptive personalities are masters at hiding their selfish behavior and masking their true intentions. You may be friends or partners with a sociopath without ever realizing anything is wrong. So, how do you know when you've met someone with this dangerous personality type? The word sociopath is widely used today to describe people who are consistently dishonest, manipulative, and aggressive, but that's not really what it means to be a sociopath. An actual sociopath is someone diagnosed with a mental health condition called Antisocial Personality Disorder, or ASPD. This affects about 4% of men and 1% of women. People with ASPD are known to exhibit high-risk behavior, manipulative tendencies, and a general neglect of rules, laws, and boundaries. Now, not everyone diagnosed with ASPD is manipulative or aggressive. And not everyone who is manipulative or aggressive should be diagnosed with ASPD. Most people with ASPD are not threatening to anyone and may be working to suppress their risky and impulsive behavior. But there are sociopaths out there who want nothing more than to take advantage of you. These malicious personalities disregard the feelings of others and manipulate people for their own benefit. If left to their own devices, these people can do serious damage to your life and relationships. So, it's essential that you learn how to spot red flags as early as possible. If a sociopath does worm their way into your life, they won't be willing to let go. They'll take advantage of you and control you. They'll push their selfish ambitions onto your life, taking and taking and taking until you have nothing left to give. So if you're worried about someone in your life, like a friend or a partner, listen to these 12 signs of sociopathic behavior. You may not realize it, but the sociopath in your life may be hiding in plain sight. Number 1. Manipulative Charisma Sociopaths are experts at getting on people's good side. They're naturally intelligent and charismatic. They know what to say so that everyone falls under their spell, but don't be fooled by their charm. Below that charismatic exterior is someone who craves attention, admiration, and control. Sociopaths use what's known as superficial charisma. They say charming things not because they believe them, but because they're trying to manipulate your feelings. In other words, they tell you what you want to hear. Why? To boost their reputation and advance their agenda. Be wary of anyone who's overly charming and charismatic to a fault, because they might secretly be a sociopath. Number 2. Making you feel trapped You might hear a sociopath say something like, You can't leave me because I'm the best you're gonna get. They make comments like these over and over until you start to believe them. You might worry you'll never meet anyone who cares about you, but that's exactly what a sociopath wants you to think. The truth is that there are plenty of people out there who would treat you with fairness and respect, people who would genuinely care about your life and well-being. A sociopath may insist that everyone else is wrong for you, but the worst offender is right there in front of you. Number 3. They can't stop lying Many of us have a problem with dishonesty. We don't like lying to others, just like we don't like being lied to, but sociopaths will make up stories without batting an eye. Lying comes naturally to these manipulative personality types. They're so good at lying that most people never realize that they're being deceived. Now, that doesn't mean that everyone who lies is a sociopath. When a regular person lies, it's usually because they're ashamed of something, but sociopaths, well, they don't need a real reason to bend the truth. Sociopaths lie for the simple satisfaction of deceiving the people around them. When people buy into their lies, it makes them feel powerful and dominant, 
which motivates them to lie even more. So if someone in your life just can't stop lying, even about the smallest things, you may be talking to a genuine sociopath. Number 4. Explosive Communication Sociopaths rarely treat people with the respect they deserve. They'll take advantage of you and manipulate your trust without a care in the world, but the moment you inconvenience them, ho oh, oh, ho, all hell breaks loose. If you have a sociopath in your life, you may notice a pattern of explosive outbursts. They become spontaneously enraged, turning a minor conflict into an explosive argument, and in these heated moments, they'll insult your character and they'll attack your vulnerabilities without regard for your happiness or well-being. A sociopath just doesn't care if they hurt your feelings as long as you never inconvenience them again. Number 5. Sneaky Domination Tactics The goal of a sociopath in almost any social situation is to gain control. They want to dominate every relationship and lead every conversation, and when they walk into a room, they want to feel like it's theirs for the taking. To achieve that level of control, sociopaths use subtle strategies or domination tactics to persuade, to intimidate, and to undermine anyone who holds power over them. For example, a sociopath might use exaggerated compliments to lower your guard and to earn your trust. They might tell you that you're the most attractive, intelligent, or interesting person in the world. They might swear they like you more than anyone else they've ever met. But these sentiments are hollow and meaningless, and if you fall for these subtle tactics, a sociopath won't hesitate to take control. Number 6. Inverted Emotions Do you know someone who enjoys other people's pain or hardship? Alright, let's say you're watching a movie with your friend, and as you're following the story, you feel sympathy for its likable protagonist, but your friend seems to relish their suffering. This alone isn't a sign of sociopathy, but it may be a sign that someone in your life lacks empathy. Most of us feel bad or guilty when a person gets hurt. We put ourselves in their shoes and we empathize with their hardships, but sociopaths don't experience empathy in the same way. If you know someone who ignores or even enjoys the suffering of others, you may be dealing with a sociopath. Number 7. Unbelievable Extremes Sociopaths take everything to the extreme. If a sociopath tells a story, for example, they're unsatisfied with an average experience that anyone might have had. Instead, they exaggerate the truth, adding false details to surprise and impress everyone they meet. Their stories might be so extreme that you wonder whether they actually believe them. If this question consistently pops into your head, you may be dealing with a sociopath. These deceptive people tell extreme stories to make themselves seem larger than life. They paint a vibrant picture of their perfect life, but if you look closely, you'll realize what they really are. Number 8. Burning Past Bridges If you think someone you know is a sociopath, look at their past relationships. Do they have a history of betraying friends and burning bridges? Have they taken advantage of friends or partners in the past? It's uncommon for sociopaths to maintain long, healthy relationships. When someone isn't useful to them, they don't hesitate to cut ties and run. Now, of course, they'll tell you a different story. They'll weave together lies about how others have just let them down. But a pattern of broken relationships is a red flag that you shouldn't overlook. Number 9. Covering Lies with Lies Sociopaths don't just lie about their life, they make up stories from their past and fabricate experiences to reinforce lies they told long ago. The end result is a tangled web of misleading information and nothing seems to add up, but the more you question them, well, the more confusing their stories get. If you notice something is wrong, don't expect a simple explanation. Confront a sociopath and they'll find some way to turn the tables on you. They'll act like you're the one failing to communicate or creating problems that don't exist. Remember, a sociopath wants you to feel doubtful of yourself because that uncertainty gives them power over you. Number 10. Their life is an enigma. How much do you really know about this person? 
Sociopaths tend to be very secretive about their lives. You might not know basic information like what they do for a living. When you ask them questions, they find ways to change the subject or to redirect the conversation toward you. Even though they crave attention, sociopaths don't like sharing anything that makes them vulnerable. They want to know everything about you, including your darkest secrets. But when the spotlight shines on them, they suddenly have nothing to say. Number 11. Total Lack of Understanding Sociopaths don't understand how people feel, and they don't really try to. When they make a decision, they rarely consider how it affects others. All they think about is their own needs. If you're inconvenienced by their actions, don't expect them to feel guilty or apologize. You can try explaining to this person why you're upset and why their actions are damaging to others, but if you're dealing with a sociopath, they won't care about anyone but themselves. Number 12. The 90% Rule Sometimes a sociopath will do something that rubs you the wrong way, even if you're unsure why. They might smile when someone gets hurt or take advantage of someone in need. They might say something offensive or refuse to apologize for an obvious mistake. And in these moments, you might wonder, is this normal behavior or am I dealing with a sociopath? To answer this question, just ask yourself whether their behavior is something around 90% of people would do. If most people would act the same way, then you have nothing to worry about. But if 90% of people would consistently make different decisions, then you may be dealing with a sociopath. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.